Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Saw 5 and this movie is directed by David Hackle and it's the fifth Saw movie and out of the all of the movies that I've seen thus far this is probably my least favorite one and I found it to be the most boring Saw movie which is a pretty bad sign and the only entertaining parts were not necessarily the traps in this movie, but when people died in this movie. <laughs> and there was some overacting that I thought was pretty funny. And uh, the actress who plays Jigsaw's wife, she, she was pretty bad. Aside from that, there's nothing really else to talk about. The story for this movie is basically just a continuation of the fourth film and exploring uh, the twist and uh, where it uh, can go. For about 90 minutes. The story of this universe is starting to feel really stretched out at this point. Because it's just throwing out ideas that they could do. And none of it's really all that interesting. And even the detective work in this movie is pretty boring. And that's probably the worst part of this movie. Is that any detective work that could be interesting in this film is just not interesting and this movie is also not very subtle you have one of the characters is literally just explaining things to the audience and thinking out loud and when he reads things he's reading it out loud and he's all by himself and only really stupid movies do that and this movie was pretty stupid. The opening scene was kind of fun, with it being a trap, like all of the previous sequels are. And it was entertaining. And another really good thing that I like about this movie is uh, when they bring back Tobin Bell in flashback scenes. Those are the best scenes in the movie. But aside from that, there's really nothing to this movie. I'm struggling to find things to talk about because... I was just bored watching this movie. There's just not much to it. It's not offensively bad. It's just boring. And that is not the type of movie that I want to watch. I want to watch something that's good. Or at least so bad it's good. That's at least something worth remembering. This movie, there's nothing worth remembering it for. And I had forgotten most of it already despite watching it a few hours ago. And... If you want to watch it, I guess you'll be fine. If you really just want to watch all of the Saw movies, then sure, go ahead. I don't think anything I could say is going to stop you, but... Oh boy, this movie was pretty dull and boring. And I'm going to give Saw 5 a 4 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. I know this video was really short. It's just I have nothing to say about it and... Hopefully that doesn't happen again. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below and tell me what you thought of Saw 5. And my social media links, they will all be in the description down below, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Misery. So look forward to that. But until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.